Hey guys, Online Tech Guy here, and we are back with some more Oculus Rift stuff. Um, I saw Kismet on the Oculus Store and figured that looks like it's right up my alley, so I'm going to jump in and see how it goes. I have jumped in literally for about five seconds to adjust the audio, so hopefully the audio is fairly decent. If not, I apologize. I'm using Gamecaster to record Oculus stuff, which gives me much less features than Broadcaster normally does. But enough of that, let's jump in and see what Kismet's all about. So quiet. Oh, hello, dear. I didn't even see you come in. Hi. Please do make yourself at home. My name is Kismet, and it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. If you've come all this way to see me, then you must have a very important question. So, shall we ask the cards? Or the stars? Or perhaps you might be interested in a little game of wit? Hmm? Um, let's do the cards. Please listen, dear. The cards may be wise, but it's up to you to fulfill your destiny. They are merely a guide to help you find your way. Now, shall we begin? Concentrate on the question in your heart and choose three cards. The first card concerns the past, the steps that took you to this very place and time. Okay. The second card embodies the present, the here and now, likely the very reason you've come to see me. Sure. And the last card heralds the future. It shows the path you've yet to take and offers you guidance on how best to tread it. All right. Your past is ruled by love, my dear. What a beautiful thing it is to be surrounded by such care and devotion. You are truly blessed. Sure. You are strong and powerful. Through understanding and cooperation, not domination, you've gained well-earned respect and control over the present. Well done, dear. Thank you. I'm sorry, dear, but the hermit brings nothing but loneliness to the future. Shut up. Remember, though, some relationships are far better to let go than to persist. Oh, oh boy. I do love a nice reading, dear. Okay. Well, would you like to try the cards again? Or shall we see what the stars have to say, my dear? We could always play a little game. Let's do what the stars the say. The stars it is. Not? Hold on tight. Collect your key. Please enter your birth date on the calendar there before you, and we'll get started right away. Oh, wonderful. Well, I guess that's really no, really no secret. Come on. There, now you guys know exactly ah, yes. how old a I am. Scorpion indeed. Scorpio is a sign of water, which is what gives you your intense loyalty and passion, mm. but also your unyielding suspicion and jealousy. Uh. You may appear calm and cool on the outside, but there is a great power and strong will boiling just underneath the surface. Relinquishing control may not be your strongest suit, but you more than make up for it with intuition and sheer determination. You're telling Mars me things has like left to retrograde hear. and resumed his direct path through the sky. Start those plans and prepare for action. Now is the time to push forward without constraints. Here is your fortune from the stars today. May it bring you the wisdom you need for the answers Whoa. you seek. We all feel hunger or thirst, but in love it may be a warning that there is a lack of fulfillment in your relationship. Something is getting in the way, and it could be the same for your partner. Okay. Shall we see what the cards have to say, my dear? We could always play a little game. I think we're going to play a little game, because we've already done the cards, and... Yeah. Oh, I do love a good game. Hold on, dear. This is the royal game of Ur, played by the pharaohs and kings of the ancient world. 
The rules are simple. Roll the dice and move your pieces accordingly. You can't land on a space with another of the same, but end up on the opposite color and that piece is sent all the way back to the start. If you land on a rosette, you get to roll again. The object of the game is to get all of your pieces to the end before I do. Be warned, you must roll the exact number to make it to the finish. Shall okay. we get started? You can even go first. Sure. Roll the dice, my dear. Now, choose which piece to move. This one. Roll the dice, my dear. If that's the only thing you say, you're gonna Choose get old. Choose your move wisely, dear. Sure. One. Joy. Um. I do like your cat. Oh, whoa, whoa. Tracking, don't do that. Ooh, three. You got a three, too, aren't you fancy? Yeah, let's put that on the board. Thanks. Well, well. One. Roll again. Err. Good game. One. And two. Sorry. Can't count. I know. And three. Another three, seriously, lady? Are you sure you're not cheating? Come on, boom! Three! Thank you! One. Haha, <laughs> you got a one, two. Oh, you get to roll again. I like the kitty. Especially the colors. Oh, my turn. Easily distractable me. You better not get a two. Four. Yes. Aren't Boom. you lucky? Sometimes. Not often, though. Hmm. A nice little area, though. 
I don't remember if I actually paid for this game or not, but if not, it's definitely worth it. And even if I did, even though it's all kind of mostly superstition and stuff with the horoscopes, but it's still a cool looking game. I can see myself playing it whenever I want to have some fun. Success! You don't blink, do you? Oh, yes, you do. Okay. I'll move that there, please. I want your cat. Under that veil, it doesn't look like there's enough for a face. It's kind of worrisome. I do not get to roll with you. Or do I? I guess I do. Another two. Put my pieces on the board. Four. I thought you just had to get to the end, not all the way off the board. Three. Don't take that. Okay, Let's say, don't take my damn piece. It's not cool. <clears throat> Sad if you did, but yep, you win. Oh my, that was fun. That was. Shall fun. we play again, or is there something else I can help you with? Let's do one more card thing, because why not? Please listen, dear. The cards may be wise, but it's up to you to fulfill your destiny. They are merely a guide to help you find your way. Now, shall we? Play? Concentrate on the question in your heart and choose three cards. The first card concerns the past. Hmm. The second card embodies the present. And the last card heralds the future. Does it? Show me. You've made a great sacrifice, my dear. And while it may not have been pleasant, you cannot deny that decision its power over your present. A great and powerful influence has come to rule over you at this moment. You may be captivated and inspired, but the fact remains, you are not in control. Because of your hard work, all your dreams will soon come true. Your wishes will be granted, your desires fulfilled, and everything you've wanted will come to you, not by magic, 
but by the will of your steady hand. I did think about Heed it. Keep the cards, my dear, for they wish the best for you. Okay. I was thinking about if my next burrito was going to make my stomach well, hurt or not. Well, would you like to try the cards again? Or and it shall says no. we see what the stars have to say, my dear? Um, we could always play a little game. We've done all three, but I just want to look around your place now. I want to pet your kitty because he's colorful. Um, how about none? How about we're done? Thank you very much for your help, lady. And this has been Online Tech Guy. Thank you guys for watching. I might put up some more of this. I might not. We'll see how well this video goes. But yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Goodbye, my dear. It's always a pleasure. Later.